Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Salesforce with LinkedIn. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at salesforce.com. At the moment I'm using uh, this trial account just to show you how you can make this integration work. So if you want to make this integration uh, happen, we can either use uh, automate.io I will leave the link in the description underneath this video or zapier.com. At the moment at uh, automate.io uh, you won't be able to find uh, the gen forms but you'll be able to find the classic LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn story. Well, back at automate, you want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we are here, let's go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Now, uh, in this uh, search window, we want to go and start with Salesforce. Like this. Once we clicked on Salesforce, we have to pick the counterpart, which will be LinkedIn. Like this. Uh, there are some popular integration after we get uh, redirected. And uh, as popular integrations, you can pick from couple of them but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for keep scrolling down and you get to create your own integration just remember underneath the triggers on the left side you want to start with salesforce so i'm gonna pick as I, as you can see there's a uh, tons of options don't go with the linkedin straight away but on the other hand underneath the actions on the right side go with linkedin there are two options, so let's post status, for example, and click on try it now button. You get redirected and you'll be able to log into your automate.io account and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. On zapier.com, you also need to create an account here. And once we do that, let's go to the top left part and click on make a zap. The zap stands for integration. On the left uh, corner of your screen, you can uh, Name your app like uh, Salesforce to LinkedIn, for example. And it works basically quite the same as at Automate. We want to start with a trigger. Uh, the trigger will be Salesforce. Like this. Trigger event, new record, for example. Let's stick to the first ones. Now we have to log in with the account that we created. Like this. We hit continue and now uh, Salesforce object. There's tons to choose from, so be careful, but I'm sticking with the first one. We hit continue and now we can test the trigger. Or we can just uh, jump straight to second action. And as you probably guessed, we're going to write down LinkedIn. Action event, also pick from those two. Click, continue. And the last thing is you have to log in or sign in to LinkedIn. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.